Hi everyone, today I want to talk about a brand new feature that rolled out as part of Google Forms and that's to automatically save. So this is super handy if you want to, um, or your students, uh, work on a Google Form and maybe you just haven't had a chance to finish it so it will automatically save for you. So I just want to show you how that feature looks and uh, we'll kind of take you through a few little steps and some things to keep in mind. So you will notice um, you do have to be signed in for this to work. And for us in Genespez, it'll only work within uh, our domain. So it can't be other um, uh, email addresses that work with it. You'll notice that even though it shows that my email address is here, I'm logged in, it's not shared. So it's not this particular form is not capturing my email address, which can be a feature uh, setting that you uh, created. So this one is just uh, not uh, capturing my name, but I do need to be signed in uh, to be able to save uh, my work. And you'll notice there's a little cloud here that uh, indicates that that feature is on. So if I were to actually start this form and I started to respond to the answers, you're gonna notice right here, it's gonna start saying uh, saving and then draft save. So I can go through, you notice it changes and then it'll say that it's saved. So there's more to this form, but let's say I just don't have time to finish right now. Uh, I am going to just close it out. And when I close it out, I can uh, go off, do other things, come back again, click on that sample form again that I have. And you'll notice once I come back in, those three responses that I had were there. Uh, so then I can go through and um, finish off uh, responding to this form. So a couple things to keep in mind. You can save this for up to 30 days. So beyond that, then your responses do uh you do lose the responses and you can only do it on a single form at a time. So because I've started this one and I've started to save my responses, I could not go to another form and start doing that. You can't do it on more than one. So it's just something to keep in mind uh, and it's just released. So there may be some updates in the future with that, but it certainly is a, a step in the right direction uh, as you share and use Google Forms with your students.